Hi there, my name's Anthony James. Uh, I'm a junk model maker, that means I make models out of junk. And have done for about 20 years as a company called Creature Armour. I work for film, television and theatre as a prop maker and I work in lots and lots of schools and have done across the UK and beyond. I'm just going to do a little bit now about general model making techniques. So if you've already seen this on another one of my YouTube posts, then just fast forward to the bit where my shirt changes colour, that will be the actual make. For those that haven't uh, seen any of my posts before, I'm just going to do a little general piece about making models. The first thing you're going to need, if you're making them out of junk, is some scissors. These are my sort of medium sized scissors, good for adults, but if you're working with children, what you want are these smaller scissors with the blue handles on them. Uh, they're obviously different colours. If they're yellow and green in the UK, they're for left-handed people. If they're just one colour like this, they're for right-handed. Get that right straight off, because obviously if you're trying to cut with the wrong pair of scissors for you, you won't be able to make anything. Children particularly will think it's their talent that's at fault, so we don't want that to happen. Uh, they're sharp, be careful. Small scissors like this are blunt-ended, which is great, so they're not quite as easy to stab yourself with. Also, um, they're very good for cutting round corners, so for making smaller models, these are the scissors you want, particularly if you're working with children. And then, everything I build, and you can see some of my things behind me, is made with masking tape. Uh, masking tape is fantastic stuff. It's, you don't have to wait for it to dry, it's dry straight away, and you can paint over it. But there are ways to use it, and certain ways not to use it. This is one of the ways not to use masking tape, particularly with children. Don't try and break it with your teeth. The first thing, obviously, you'll get it stuck to your lip and it hurts when you pull it off. That can make a child's lip very sore. Uh, it's also not very hygienic. Uh, so don't do it that way. The way I do it, and it's a very simple way, yes, you can use scissors, but I tend to find that slows you down. Just get the tape off. And you can see in my hand there, the, the sticky side's away from you. Put your thumb on the corner and pull. The tape comes straight off makes you very quick at making things. So I'm going to put that bit of tape there later on because that's how to do it. Put lots of little bits of tape around so they're ready to use. I'm going to do it again. Put a bit of tape off. Put your thumb there, right in the corner. Don't worry if you bite your nails or you don't think you've got very long nails. Just press your thumb on really hard. It will still work and tear. And that's your tape. That's really all you'll need. Uh, obviously some paints at the end of the make will be very good. Uh, there's all kinds of different paints out there. Try and use a water-based paint if you're working with children because that's easier to wash out of where they're going to get the paint all over. Uh, and uh, obviously the way I'm going to show you to make models, you should have a surface that's quite easy to paint. There are lots of different makes of paint out there. I find acrylic some of the best paint to use. So this re that's really just the general model make. Now on to the actual building of what you're going to make next. Off we go. I'm going to make a dinosaur from the Triassic period called Prestosuchus. A bit like a giant alligator uh, on steroids. Um, very, very mean. I'm going to make them out of junk material. So what you'll need for this really is a plastic bottle. Any old plastic bottle will do. Any shape doesn't really matter. You'll need four cardboard tubes, toilet rolls. Um, They're absolutely fantastic for making models and you can use toilet rolls to make models. Uh, I'm going to use a cereal box and some paper. So the first thing you'll need to do to make this particular dinosaur is get a piece of paper. This can be newspaper. I've got some newspaper there. It can be scrap paper like this. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. And what you have to do to this is scrumple it off because that's going to make dinosaur skin. Uh, once you've done that, open it out. And the trick with this now is to open it out, flatten it onto a table, and then we're going to get the masking tape here under a bit, use your thumb to break it off and you're going to stick it to a table. Now this table is a normal laminate table, most tables are like this and can take this kind of thing. Don't try and do this on a tablecloth obviously, or anything like that, just do it onto a laminate table. And stick it half on and half off on the table like that. I'm going to do it again, not right there, half on and half off. If you're working with children, tell them to use the magic word to stick the masking tape to the table. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, like that. And then the last one, to make sure the tape is half on and half off, all the way around the paper, and just stick it to the table. Now, pull one of the corners off. You will get just a great big sticky patch of paper like that, ready. Just lie that now upside down on the table, get your bottle, and roll your bottle over the paper, like that, and cover it up like that. 
see there that effectively that's covered the bottle and that's what you need to do just cover that bottle with paper now the piece of paper I've just used wasn't quite enough to go all the way around the bottle I've got a bit bit showing there and again that's the beauty of masking tape there's a couple of strips of masking tape over that and all that plastic is gone you'll need to cover all of the bottle because the bottle's made out of plastic and it's very difficult to paint plastic once you've done this, this sort of start to this build, that's the basis to lots of builds. Rockets, spaceships, animals, deep sea creatures and dinosaurs. Today it's Prestosuchus. The next thing we need to do is make a tail. For that, use just a normal cereal box or thin cardboard. I've got my scissors here and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut down one corner of this box all the way like that to the bottom to open it out into a big piece of cardboard because that's what I need, that big piece of cardboard there. I'm now going to cut a really, really big triangle out of it. Now when I say really big, I mean really big. It's amazing how many people do a very, very, very tiny little triangle and think that's going to work. What you need is something about that big, like that. Nice big triangle. Put that on the table, fold it in half. Try and be as neat as you can when you do that bit. I've not been brilliant, I've got a bit over there look. So just trim it, because you can, you can see one side and the other side. Trim it nice, get some masking tape, stick that together. Now this is the same on a lot of dinosaurs and a lot of makes, this little bit here, where we stick that triangle, triangle together to make what is essentially a large cone like that. That's what you need. Now that cone can make the top of a rocket. Okay, it can make the tail of a fish, of a shark, of a whale. You've probably just seen that actually on mine, it's a bit big. So I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. So go to the bottom, cut off a little bit like that. Measure this yourself. You'll be able to tell whether it's too big or not. That's about it. Now what you do is you stick it on the bottle. So just put that there, like that. I'm gonna put my bottle on the table just to hold it like that. Put a bit of tape round, all the way round like that, and there is the shape of your dinosaur. That is also the shape of a shark, of a whale, and lots of other creatures. But right today, that's Prestosuchus. This I like as a tip. I'm gonna cut a very long, thin triangle out of the tail, just there, and just get rid of that bit there, and just use some of the masking tape, and just stick that back together. What that does is it just puts that, that kink in the tail, which is very dinosaur-y, just have your tail kinked up at the end like that. You can see there that obviously that's also a way of making pterodactyls and birds, but today, Prestosuchus that way around. The next thing you're gonna need are some legs. Now, this is where the toilet rolls come into their own, and this is just fantastic. Toilet rolls are brilliant for making everything. Just squish them, get a pair of scissors, and cut out a very long, thin triangle. You almost cut the toilet roll in half, but don't. So you've got that. Now that bit, save that for later. Bend it, and you've made a knee. And that's a lovely, lovely little mate. What you do now is you've got to stick it together. Sometimes when I work with children in schools, they forget that, you just stick these together. So a bit of tape, just there, get rid of that bit, it didn't stick very well. And just push that together, put your tape over. Take a bit of tape around the top of this now, half on and half off, all the way round, press it down, and this is how to stick the leg on. Now when children make models, they tend to just put loads of tape over things to try and stick them together, but this is the trick. Put your tape half on and half off and roll it round. And then just with a pair of scissors, snip the tape, and only the tape. If your scissors can't do this, they're not very good. Swap them. And then open those petals out like that, and you'll make a sticky flower. Now the good thing about sticky flower is it's sticky. Decide which is the top. I like the tails on my dinosaurs sticking up at the back, not trailing down on the floor. In reality, obviously dinosaurs didn't drag their tails along the floor. That would have made them sore and painful. So they had their tails flicked up like that. So do that with yours. And then just stick your leg on. Now, this is my petals there. I can put it there and decide, yeah, that's a, I don't know. I'm gonna put it there. You've got time to decide where it's gonna be. I'm gonna put it there and then press the petals down. And then you do that another three times. And there 
through the magic of creature armor, are the next three legs attached. Now you can see there that they're sort of either side of the body of the creature. That means the model stands up beautifully on a table, so that's, that's how to put the legs on. Next is the head. Now this is sort of the, the piece de resistance of, the model, of this particular model, model anyway. Prestosuchus had a very, very big mouth, that sort of alligator uh, shape. Now here's that piece of cardboard that we used earlier to make the tail. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use a bit of this. What you do is you cut out what is essentially a volcano shape. So up, across, and down. And that's it. Use that now, just fold it in half, like that. And now, you can see the end there. Just cut the end off, like that. Here's a little bit of masking tape, join it together. There, and there. Now, while it's closed, Get your scissors and go snip, snap, 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 snip, snap. Keep going all the way along, and of course, you're creating a row of sharp, pointy teeth. Pull the little, little bits out. And because you've joined that edge together, that's now made the jaw. What I'm going to do, I'll just get a little bit of tape, stick it half on and half off onto the back of that jaw, and put the bottom jaw on first like this. Just stick it there and put your tape up. And that's your bottom jaw. We're now going to rush ahead and I'm going to make that so you can see that next version finished. Right, here's the top jaw which I've just made as well, and I'm just going to put that one on as well. And I'm going to have it with its mouth sort of gaping open like that. Just fold the tape over like that, and there is really most of your Prestosuchus made. Now, obviously you can see there's an alligator or a crocodile. I make no apologies, it's the same make. So if you want to make a crocodile or an alligator, that's how to do it. For your Prestosuchus, I'm now going to just do some um, spinal plates. Now, these you'll recognise we cut out earlier from the legs. All you do, put a thin bit of tape. I'll just, I'll show you that. I've just got a bit of tape like this, and I've just ripped it that way. So, just so that I can put that in the middle of those, and then I'm just going to stick those along the back like this. Now. A little trick that I use is when I've done that, I also get another little bit and I brace them the other way across. Now that makes that a very strong little joint. It won't fall off and it's worth doing. It's worth doing that that second way across. And I'm now going to do another one. So a bit of tape there. I'm going to put that across the middle just to show you. And put that there. I'm going to do the next one. I've got one just over there. I'm going to put that there. You can see, really, you should have four. I've got one more there. Cross brace them, and you will effectively be finished. That's really it. You can, if you want to, use another one of these shapes, or even a little hill shape. So go up the hill and down the hill. Use a little bit of tape. like that there's just, just up the hill and down there a little curve like that I'm just going to put my tape over it press the tape over it nicely put some petals out snip 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 bend that to make an eye sort of the, the brow ridge of a dinosaur like that Look. press it on make sure all your tapes press down your press the circus. All you have to do is paint it. Now what I suggest when you paint these, paint them one colour all the way over. So say yellow, just paint it all yellow and then paint things on like stripes or spots to make it uh, and make it a bit more exciting. I just happen to have over here, here's one I made earlier. There it is. Okay. And you can see there they are really the same make. One slight difference. 
When I built this one, I've uh, built it with the top of the bottle in its mouth, as you can see there, but this one's got the bottom of the bottle in its mouth. It doesn't really matter. The only difference is, if you put a red balloon, take the top off there, a red balloon in there, then you squeeze his belly, you stick his tongue out of you, which is just a nice feature. So there, Prestosuchus, quite an easy, simple dinosaur. Enjoy it, have a go, and make your own.